Hello and welcome back guys, we're here playing some more At Dead of Night It's been a... A day! It's been a whopping day since the last time I played this I'm actually getting on top of it Anyway, so I just went to floor one and Called out Jimmy's name Not that it's gonna do anything I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn down the game volume by myself Cause actually I was using, uh, I was trying to listen to the last recording I'm so sorry that was quiet I don't know what happened with my audio on that. I know we have to go to floor two for eight, for the, I, I'm, not Amy, fucking that one chick. I think her name is Rose. If that's her, I'm just, I'm saying that this has to be Rose. In the end of the last video, I also said Amy and I didn't mean to say Amy. I meant to say Rose. We'll go this way in hopes that it's. Okay. Do we have the deadlock for 206? Oh, no, we lost it when he got whacked. Oh, you dirty Dan. You dirty Dan. Where are you at, ho? No. <laughs> Dude, he's so close. How'd I know this was going to be a whopping pain in my ass? You know, fuck it. If we get whapped, we get whapped. Harvey was going to shoot Jimmy. It was just a letter opener. It was self-defense. Look. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Go, 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 go. Is someone there? Someone there. Hello. What's your name? Rose. Rose Hall. This is my hotel. No, it's n oh, is it your hotel? I saw a lady explaining that the dagger was a letter opener. Who was she? I have so many questions for this asshole. If I'd add more time.
Okay, he wasn't there. <laughs> he was definitely just down the hall. We're gonna go ahead and go to the ground floor, go to that one room, and just kind of chill there for a second and look at our scrying mirror. Because I don't want to do that up at the second floor and get stuck again. We finally made it through that. I have so many questions for this asshole. Jimmy. Is it Rose? Okay. I saw Harvey being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Harvey said Jimmy had shot him with an arrow. But I knew Jimmy wouldn't use a weapon like that. What do you say about the fire? fire the basement. What happened to the hotel? I saw Harvey shouting, telling Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? No. How could Jimmy admit to something that wasn't true? Harvey was wrong to bully Jimmy like that. I saw Harvey suffering an electric shock. She's what so happened? naive. Harvey blamed Jimmy. But that heater was faulty. But why was it there? Harvey should have thrown it away. Who is Hugo Punch? I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was Harvey. He didn't believe what Jimmy was saying. But I knew he wasn't lying. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? Jimmy wrote it. What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry wire around with him. He liked playing around with electronics. I saw someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. Hugo. So Hugo is a different person than Hugo Punch. Hugo Punch is Jimmy. Hugo is... Oh, whoa. I saw Dr. Bose tying a rope around his neck. He killed himself. Why? Because he knew he was guilty. Oh, fuck you, bitch. He did the right thing. What? You're fucking crazy ass... Okay. I wish I can just be like, okay, why is he chasing me around with a bat right now? <laughs> I saw Dr. Bose upset. The police were banging on the door. What was going on? They came to arrest him. He deserved everything he got. Damn, Rose is stupid as hell, dude. Most I naive person. With newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Bobby said Jimmy made it. I don't remember. Where was the crossbow from? Let's try the crossbow with her. It was from a display Harvey used to have. But I didn't like it being in the hotel. Jimmy liked it being in the hotel. I saw Dr. Bose with a needle talking to Jimmy. What was he doing? He was trying to medicate Jimmy. Without my permission. I saw Dr. Bose spitting out blood. What happened? He cut himself. Oh, bullshit. Jimmy. He did it to himself. It wasn't Jimmy. Sorry, this girl's boiling my fucking blood right now, dude. I saw Dr. Bose holding a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Mother's love, right? Alright. So, this is the one I've been wanting to ask. All of Amy's shit. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? She was a guest in the hotel. Oh, I won't go on any further because you know Jimmy's guilty as fuck. I saw the little girl shouting to Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? I don't like Rose. <laughs> okay, so let me guess. She set her own toy on fire and I tried to blame girl, Jimmy. Amy, holding a toy on fire. What happened? She was burned. But she kept doing dangerous things like that. Yep. She was old. 
Yeah, because someone's gonna t hold a toy. How do three people have issues with Jimmy? Everyone who has encountered Jimmy has had issues with him. And she's still denying everything and just saying it's all in their head that Jimmy's perfect. I mean, I guess it's mother's love. I mean, a mom's not gonna, you know, at least not a good mother. Isn't gonna just like back down, but this is being a naive mother. There's a little bit of a difference there. Your I child isn't perfect. Something frightened her. What was it? I don't know. Could have been anything. She was a strange girl. She, this girl's pissing me off. I saw Amy drinking something. She didn't seem to like it. What was it? I don't know. That one she didn't know. But again, she... See, okay, okay, I, I don't think that she didn't know. I just don't think she wanted to admit it that he, he forced her to drink alcohol. I mean, dude, she's fucking seven years old. What is she going to do? Or ten years old, sorry. She's ten years old. She's not going to have a thirst for fucking whiskey at that age. <laughs> unless, I mean, unless if that's like how they were raised, but I doubt it. I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs on the banister. What was she doing? See, it, no, I, you're beating, you're beating around the bush. I didn't know much about the girl, but she was odd. I mean, I guess if we're taking it from first, but you wouldn't even know her personality. You wouldn't even know who, what she's like. Why, and she, she even just said that, oh, I just like literally, okay. When I, when I said that about the, like the fire thing, she was like, she always did dangerous stuff like that. I didn't know much about her. That's a contradiction in a sense, because if you know, she keeps doing stuff like that, you know a little bit about her. I saw Amy lying at the bottom Try of the this stairs. one. What happened to her? Help. Harvey blamed Jimmy for it. It was the girl's own fault, not Jimmy's. Wow. I saw Dr. Bose trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. He seemed desperate. Because he was worried about his reputation. I didn't know who to believe. But I decided to give him another chance. How did those mirrors get broken? few other things I have, like the suitcases that I... I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? They were mine. I wanted to go away, but I never got a chance. So she wanted to leave. Who drew those violent pictures? Jimmy used to draw pictures about the war. About the war. Like most boys. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Dude, those are people getting tortured. Are Who you did fucking... Who Charles Purse belong to? I didn't mean to ask that. Again, another thing you know about her. I found some trophies. Who won them? Jimmy bought them to make it look like he'd won awards. See, right there, there's, there's fucking proof that he's a fucking liar. Sorry, I am like fucking boiling right now. Rose is a fucking idiot. <laughs> Excuse my language. Not really, because I mean, I've, I've been cussing this entire time, so. I saw Harvey with a bat coming out of a room. What had he done? He ruined Jimmy's things. He couldn't control his anger. Well, yeah, because Jimmy's fucking stepping on everyone's buttons. I mean, what do you expect? Who were you greeting at the entrance and reception? She said Jimmy. Jimmy. He was coming home. The police understood. They believed him. But it changed him. He started helping me, helping run the hotel, and he found a way of bringing in more guests. When you said Jimmy found a way of bringing in more guests, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? Yes, that was Jimmy's stage act. He was a comedian. He was good, really good. People started to come just to watch him. I highly doubt it. Because if there, if there were more people here, we would have more um, ghosts to investigate. There'd be a ghost in almost like every fucking room because Jimmy's that fucking cruel. Oh, okay. It's back here. I was like, wait, where am I going? Is it 
Rose? I saw you announcing Hugo Punch onto the stage. I was enjoying it. We were making money again. Everything seemed to be getting better until... Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, staring at himself. He seemed angry. Kind of curious. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the broken mirrors? Breaking the mirrors was just the start. I asked him about it, but he didn't remember doing any of it. And other strange things started happening. Looks like it's going to happen as soon as we go up the elevator to floor 3. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know, I do. Why is there a hallway one? Why is there a hall one? I'm here. You know what? I'm going to do this and we're just going to go get whapped. Are you kidding me? We just ran all the way back to the room. All the way back to the- ah. I was gonna say, he's coming in. There, there's no doubt about it. Ooh, that was an extra long stare, dude. He's gonna come in. I'm doing it again. Monkey definitely knows. There's no way. Two extra long stares. Oh no! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Bro, you can't get to the third floor. <laughs> Someone there? There's someone there? Is anyone there? Is it Rose? Yes. I saw you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? Jimmy. He didn't understand at first. He was confused. But then I realized Jimmy wasn't the one doing these things. Like the mirrors, he was starting to fracture. Jimmy wasn't in control anymore. Uh -oh. Uh 
Okay, so we need to go to the ballroom on the ground floor now. Oh! <laughs> Dude, he had to be like literally down that hall. Oh my god, <laughs> we almost died. Luckily, you can't get down on the ground floor. We're safe down here. It's just his comedy routine. It's his sense of humor. Oh, I'm sorry if you've been offended. Excuse me. Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? It wasn't Jimmy on stage anymore. It was Hugo Punch, his comedy character. Hugo started insulting his audience every night. He seemed to be enjoying it. And one night after the show, a guest told Jimmy what she thought of him. Jimmy lost his temper. He did something stupid. When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Jimmy locked her in a room and tied her up. I didn't know what he was going to do. I found her and let her go. Jimmy said it was a joke. Oh, there you go. I saw you upset. People were knocking on the door asking questions. Who were they? So I'm guessing this one is going to be tied to the suitcases. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? I also need to go to 301. I think because it showed it showed a picture of 301 on there, but like it doesn't seem like it'd be connected to the other. Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. I 
I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? Why does it matter if I die? We're going to take our chance. Because honestly, I don't want to sit in this room all day. Yeah, he, he appeared outside that door, so he must have ran all the way back to the lobby. That was weird. I'm not used to them doing that. Three oh seven. Three oh one through three oh seven. Wait. We're dead. It doesn't matter, we're dead. We'll come right back. Give it a second. Cue it. Search. He was pissed. He's like, How dare you? <laughs> Who did the wedding ring belong to? It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? Yes. We were married. We were happy at first. Before things started to change. Okay, you know what? I don't know, dude. I think we're dead. <laughs> it's okay. I actually, I wanted to clear my path of... It's always that 202 where he drags me. Sorry, I know I'm being a little bit of a wuss. I just jump scares, man. Jump scares. 
I knew that was cutting it close, but we had to go. We just had to go. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Rosen 223 and ask about this. Who did the baby's rattle belong to? Okay. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I thought having a child would solve everything. And then you made Jimmy. I was wrong. Dude, are we still not done here? I've been at this for like a hot minute. Oh well. I'm gonna go to the ground floor and use the stairs. We're good. He wasn't anywhere near us. Story. Is that what the side room over here is? the wrong key. Oh, I didn't even see this. Why do I have to try the door first? I already know it's fucking locked. <laughs> James Alexander Hall. Hugo original hole. I found Jimmy's birth certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. I mean, it was predictable. Jimmy is Hugo's son in every way. I heard a man shouting and a child crying. What happened? You said Jimmy is Hugo's son. Does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? What about finding Jimmy in the bathroom in the birth certificate? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what oh. you said about Jimmy's birth certificate?
Please don't be right around the corner. Thank you. What happened to Jimmy? I haven't heard, seen, or even like... Oh my lord. What happened to him? Lighter. I haven't asked her about what this one yet. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Oh my god. She set herself on fire? <laughs> you know there's better ways of committing suicide, right? I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate, and I know Rose tried to kill him. But she failed, didn't she? Then where is he now? <laughs> well, why don't you come and meet him? It's time I introduce you to the family, Maya. <laughs> Basement changed. Welcome to Hugo's grave. Mother's little secrets. She mixed the concrete herself, you know, then poured it over his lifeless body and watched it set. She thought she got rid of him. But she didn't get it, Maya. You see, Hugo was just one of us, just another log of the fire. He 
Five friends to rescue. as quickly as you can. Did she just get whapped as soon as she got out? So 303, 110, 120, 111. stairs as quickly as you can. One ten, one eleven, I believe. There's two more. Ha! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I just remember going here from the last time before I got whacked. I'm just trying to stay on the same route. That way that I can figure something out. What if, what if you tried the door? Like, would we be able to go hide in the bathroom? No, we'd be fucked. Bro, I feel like I need a map.
Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. One ten, one eleven. This is like trying to escape the hallway monitors. Okay, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. Ah! Whoa! Damn it! <laughs> okay, now. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. Is there, there's no hide option. It's just look through the glass or send your friend to her death. <laughs> I'm waiting for the pop up. as quickly we'll as try you can. It. Oh. Is she just like waiting for me? Far. Oh, so I can lock it, I'm pretty sure. Now. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can.
Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Oh my god. Oh. I was so nervous. I feel like she doesn't get a happy ending. I'm still on edge because I don't think we're safe. Not you. I'm in charge. So differently sees in the way we see ourselves. It's actually probably been the most fun I've had in a horror game in a while. You can see them. Don't get me closer than me. I feel like Jimmy's gonna come out. <sighs> Alrighty, so that is 
everything that this game has to offer, except for the harder difficulty. I might do that eventually in the future, but for now, take a break on this game, because... Oh god, dude, I have a headache after getting hit so many times. <laughs> um, I knew, it was a great game. I actually really enjoyed playing it from start to finish. It was easily probably one of the best games I've played in a minute. Um, that being said, it probably ranks within definitely my favorite point and click. Definitely my favorite point and click, just because it was really suspenseful and like really immersive. Like the storyline was really on point. Everything pretty much was on point. The only thing I would say I have a little bit of beef with is the uh, difficulty of the game. I feel like when you get hit with Jimmy, you kind of don't lose any progress. I mean, yeah, you lose where the uh, spear box is, but you just go back and grab it. It's just in and out. The chance of Jimmy actually swatting you in the beginning is next to none. Because I don't even know if he really could spawn right in the lobby at the beginning. I mean, he might. When you're up the stairs, he can, but he might, actually. But the, I've never encountered that problem. The only time I've ever been killed in the lobby or anywhere near the lobby, especially that one time when I was killed outside the bathroom. Not killed, but swatted outside the bathroom. I was trying to figure out how to get that, uh, that cutscene with uh, Dr. Bose in the bathroom when he had the blood in his mouth. I was trying to figure out how to activate that, so I was just going back and like around in a circle. So eventually, he came into the lobby, and I was—I didn't notice his entrance. I didn't see it. All I saw, I turned around, and he was right there. Um, it definitely got harder and more consequential. Like I—I was—I was actually going to be pretty upset, and not like upset as like mad, but like just like pretty down if I died at the end when I was trying to escape. Now, granted, I'm gonna miss playing this game. I th I thought it was a great game. I did blow through it, especially at the end there. The first few, I was just kind of like messing around, and then like once I just was like, okay, let's just get the storylines done, because I mean, it doesn't really have anything else to it. it. Like, yeah, you can explore the maps, but they're about the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so just might as well just get it done. So I just went cr I crank through it, found a bunch of shit. Damn, I don't know if I'm going to have this in one video or two videos, because this could be a very long video. Because we did the entirety of Rose storyline on top of beating the game in its entirety. So this might actually be two videos, but either way, we got it done. We can go ahead and move on, start a different series, maybe even continue an old series. Uh, I still need to get caught up in Dead Rising. I haven't been playing that a lot. So maybe I'll maybe I'll get to that. I don't have the recordings anymore, unfortunately. I deleted them, so I'm gonna have to start fresh. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I think they are making a sequel, so that should be exciting. Since uh, Jimmy did survive the entire thing, maybe in some form bring back the original Jimmy and get rid of Hugo. Because I'm wondering if he's just if Jimmy's paranormal or like if he's like possessed by Hugo maybe or maybe it is just him experiencing a morality split who knows anyway thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one bye bye